Another thing I want to show you, we were talking about third parties earlier. Uh, uh, all of the third parties that we support within the Harmony is also part of MHC. MHC is a very aware of those third parties. So for example, uh, Larry a little bit later will be talking about Irinish, uh, uh TCP IP product that is supported in Harmony. So uh, you can literally go into third party libraries option here, select TCP IP, select Irinish, uh stack, and you can configure it. All the options to configure uh, Internet or third-party uh, module will be here. You can say, yes, I want to enable Internet TCP IP stack, and you can see various, um, various options here to, uh, to configure that stack. Um, uh, to give you another example, uh, let's, uh, let's select another third-party component, things like RTOS, for example. Uh, we support various RTOS, so you want to say yes, I want to use RTOS. Uh, it will ask you which RTOS you want to use, and you can see various choices we have. And just for simplicity, I'm going to pick first one, which is free RTOS. And again, it has full configuration within the MHC. You can set up uh, whatever that particular RTOS needs to needs uh, needs to configure uh, things like uh, you know stack sizes, you know very various options that that RTOS supports. Uh, and again, notice uh, one of my options here is marked in red. Um, that's because this RTOS, free RTOS, uh, wants to use a timer one as a tick timer. But my timer one is already used because I used uh, TCP IP stack from microchip to enable the timer. So basically, my MHC is saying, hey, there is a conflict there. You have two components trying to uh, use the same hardware underneath. So it's telling me I have to resolve this. So I would go to my timer, for example, that I selected earlier. And uh, instead of timer one, I'll just have to select a different timer, like timer four. And notice error went away. Uh, so it's another useful feature, all this error checking um, that we would build into MHC. Um, and speaking of RTOS, so I selected, in my case, I selected the uh, free RTOS. And what I want to show you, obviously, uh, when you go into the RTOS environment as opposed to, um, as opposed to into bare metal environment, uh, things would be, uh, you know, type of code that you need to generate will be different. Uh, instead of running everything in uh, one super loop, you know, all the tasks I showed you for TCP IP and so on, um, instead of running in one super loop, I, I probably want to spun up those things as, uh, as threads or as tasks, you know, since I have now our task environment. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So let me generate this code, you know, what I just configured. And if I look at the system task file one more time, instead of one super loop, what I will see is that um, uh, the system task is actually spinning off. Uh, you can see it's spinning off uh, doing task create for a timer task. It's doing task create for TCP IP and so on. So all these uh, modules that I selected, all the tasks, uh, that they need to execute, they will execute in, the, in their own threads, in their own tasks. So again, the tool is smart enough to say, hey, I need to generate different type of code, um, and, uh, and we'll give all that to you as, as, a, as a customer. And again, all you have to do is, uh, is, is open the app.c file that I showed you before and start writing your code, and um, that's going to go inside of app task. And you notice right here, app task will be spun off as its own uh, task. So, uh, again, you don't even have to know much about the, uh, you know, our task environment. It will be automatically, uh, you know, all set up for you, and your application will be run in a separate task. Uh, so we basically, with MHC, we're simplifying all this, uh, all this um, uh, development for you.